After a well-deserved rest day spent in team, the team will then look forward to the next phase of riding, which takes them from the Alps heading southwest towards the Pyrenees on the Spanish border. Well, stage 11 will be the standout moment as the Tour 21 reaches Provence for a double ascent of the iconic Mont Ventoux, a single ascent of which is gruelling enough, never mind two. A rite of passage for many cyclists, the team will have the honour of riding past Tom Simpson's memorial, less than 1k from the summit, where they can of course pay their respects to one of Britain's greatest cyclists who tragically passed away while racing up Mont Ventoux during the 1967 Tour de France. The riders will then enjoy two flat stages through the picturesque cities of Nîmes and Carcassonne with its world famous medieval citadel before heading into the Pyrenees for stage 14. Uh, that will see them tackle a lumpy 184k parkour from Carcassonne to Quillon in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Stage 15 presents a final challenge for the team before the second rest day and also marks a significant moment for the Tour 21 and Cure Leukemia, with the 4th of July being the anniversary of Cure Leukemia patron and ride leader Jeff Thomas's blood cancer diagnosis. Plenty of motivation there to take them all the way through to that rest day. With 3,900 metres of climbing and altitude to contend with, Stage 15 will put the riders firmly through their paces. Finishing in Andorra, the riders will travel across the only border in this year's tour, where many, many professional cyclists choose to make their home these days.